G'day, I'm the Home Distiller, and uh, you'll have to forgive the, the slight blur in the uh, video. I've got a really, really cheap um, wide-angle lens on my camera at the moment. Um, now, I've had a, uh, a busy couple of days. I decided to rebuild my Tesla coil. Um, I've been ha I haven't run it in a very long time, and I was having problems with the spark gap, and I still am having problems with the spark gap, even after a slight upgrade. Um, I think I need to redo the electrodes in it to um, tungsten and uh, align it a bit better. And um, Basically I'm currently running on a, um, a static gap, single gap, with a um, compressed air line blowing over it to help quench. Um, and uh, I've also put on my 160mm um, secondary. So we've got new secondary, um, single uh, toroid, which is a duct toroid. Um, we're covered with um, body filler and then aluminium tape over that. Same primary. Um, we've got a rebuilt um, doubler and less resistance in the um, uh, kind of the choke circuit. I also removed the the two RF chokes that I had in it. Um, don't really need them. I also added a proper safety gap in. Um, tank cap is the same and at the moment it's not 100% tuned. I've only just put it together. It's tuned at the moment um, I tuned it yesterday for um, running just on two mots without any doubler or anything like that. Now it's running um, a doubler and when I tuned it for the two mots I had all my other secondary top loads on which was these two sitting on top like that um, which at the moment I don't think I need. I do have to retune it properly, but um, I've also added in a. I've lifted up the toroid a bit more, so it's sitting a bit higher. Um, I, I did have a little bit too high, and I was getting a little bit of a coronal discharge off the top, and a little bit of uh, not racing arcs, but a bit of arcing out out the uh, the top. So um, let's turn the lights off and kick it on. And if you can hear a dog winch, uh, it's because I, I just locked him up outside. Taking care of my parents' dog for a month. <sighs> winch, winch, winch. So, safety first, let's go. Yeah, as you can see, I've run out of room in my shed. And I did get a strike over to the, uh, to here, which would be approximately 37 inches or 950 uh, millimetres. Um, let's uh, give it a target. That target's on RF ground and we're... another 950. So let's see if we can hit that target. Take your phone. So, we actually got, didn't even hit the target, but we hit the, uh, 
we hit the top one here, and that's a good Where's the bloody tape measure? So we hit up there, and that's one point two meters. Well, that's interesting. I've just killed a fluorescent light bulb of a starter. Well, looks like I've blown the fitting. Dear. Bugger! Oh well. It'll work nicely as a breakout point. Oh well. Seeing as I blow up a light fitting in my shed, uh, let's just light the flare up, shall we? Wow, something's hot at the bottom of the coil there. So it's going to be hard to see in this light, but uh, that's oh, come on, there we go. That's the damage. I've lost a one whole turn has burnt out. Obviously, my coupling was a little bit too close, so uh, we'll fix that and. I think that's it for the day, but yeah.